Currently at the SS 717 headquarters, I am walking around the garage. This garage has been the emptiest I've seen it in a long time because there's been a new addition to the SS family. Go check it out on Mike's channel if you want to see it. It's yellow, just like the Urus, and it's actually the same make as the Urus. So go check it out on his channel, Street Speed 717. Here in my garage, his garage, uh, we're waiting for him to get back here because uh, this is like future RF racing speaking to you right now. Um, here's some clips of our beach trip where I just took the Duramax, the LLY, which I'm thinking about nicknaming Lily for LLY. Give her a nice, she deserves a name. Uh, here it is right now, a little hurricane action. It was treacherous to say the least. Off, the sun is setting off in the distance. We have to take this stupid route because every road around here is closed. AC's blasting. Babe, we having a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're having a great time. Go follow her on Instagram, Culpa Gold, my lovely fiance. Give her some love so she can flex on all her old high school friends. Mike's in front of us, he's flying. We need some fuel. Did I get it right that time? We blow off the gas here, maybe you can hear the wheels rubbing a little bit. Now the turbo spools too much, but you can hear it inside the cabin of like this like whoa, 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 whoa. So I hope that's not the rubber just grinding on the road from the wheels not being aligned. It might just be because the tires are that fat. So we'll see how this goes. We got a call last or this morning just now that I'm not actually in a parking spot. So, yeah, there was no room. I had nothing, I had no other choice. But here we go, we're off to the beach house, rolling out. I hope all of our stuff's in the back. I have yet to check the load, not good. While we're here, babe, why are we, why are we going the wrong direction though? We're not going, we're going off the island now. I don't know, so. babe, where are you going? Uh, we're leaving because of this. Tropical storm warnings highlighted in red to go all the way up the coastline here. Uh, in fact, all the way up into coastal uh, Maine with watches in effect here. Portions of North tropical storm force winds anywhere between 39 and 74 miles an hour, okay? We're gonna loop this radar for you for three hours here, okay? And what you'll see- So I don't know what clips exactly I'm gonna be able to put into there, but uh, for the most part, Hurricane Isaias or ECIS or however you say it uh, was coming up, turned into a tropical storm. They evacuated the island that we were supposed to stay on five minutes before we got in our trucks and we're like headed onto the island. We stopped at like a McDonald's. Five minutes before we were supposed to get on the island, uh, they sounded the alarm and said, hey, you guys can't go. So we're like eight hours away from home. The whole family was coming down, they're stranded. Uh, long story short, it was like we had to go up to Virginia to seek refuge for a little bit, uh, Virginia Beach, which was uh, terrible. I guess just the area we were in in Virginia Beach, that was, it was just so awful. Um, and I've been there before. I don't remember it being that horrible of a place. It was like Baltimore on the ocean. <laughs> I need to stop trash talking cities. Baltimore is great too. Uh, we uh, then were eventually able to come down and it was a four by four beach that we had to, uh, to gain access to our new house that we had to rent. Um, and it was actually pretty cool taking the Duramax. Had to air her down a little bit. She was having a little bit of trouble just because she's so heavy. And these new tires did not disappoint they're so fat and it was just easy mode once we aired down just like not even five psi just real light but onto the duramax here we're gonna try and do a few things to make her right before the wrap first off she needs washed i was able to get her sprayed down with the garden hose in front of my house but there's still a bunch of sand and stuff because she was out in the hurricane force winds um for a good two hours uh, because it actually picked up while it was around us back into a hurricane for like i literally think an hour uh, but we got whip stacked on here, which I hate. I thought I would like them more, but I think it's just because I got them too tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lop the top off here, uh, maybe about down a good eight to 10 inches and then put a black cap on it again. Um, and I think then it'll look okay. I'm just trying to get this thing back to the way it used to look. You can see we all have our beach stuff still back in there and fishing rods. Uh, so now that the truck is at least rinsed off, you can get a glimpse at the damage. It's a little bit more pronounced uh, on the hood here that's going to be tough and then on the back here this dent I was like oh it's not that bad it looks way worse now that it's all cleaned up uh, the paint is all torn up and stuff so I don't really know if that's going to be able to be fixed without um, Bondo I mean all of these if you want to be perfect just got to replace the whole part that's a pretty big section and then a whole new hood uh, shouldn't be too expensive but we shall see C8 giveaway is going on right now we got the dogs follow them on Instagram Boomer me of the Aussies. And then we got Piglet. Three bulls in a pod here. What are you doing? You're waiting for your parents to get home. They're out doing a photo shoot in the new cars. Street Speed is back. Mike, uh -huh. with the new guy, Ardo. We just filmed our little segment uh, for his channel. But you know what's awful is, is giving everyone a shout out. and Like, hey, go check out Mike for the new guy, Ardo. And here I just 
totally blew it for you. So here it is. If you want to see more of it, go check out his channel. There you go. You still get your shout out. Thank you. But we were just talking about how back in high school, um, this was Mike's dream car. If you want to hear the backstory on that, because it's a really funny, sort of cringy story back in the day on Xbox, we used to talk about, go check out his channel. And then another thing was, I remember we went to a car meet in New York City back in 2011, 2012. We're talking about the Aventador, how like back in the day, this was the big car for uh, Lamborghini in like 06. Back when we were kids, like young kids just getting our license to guard, it was still a cool thing. It was. And then the Aventador came out and it blew us completely away. And I asked him, because I was still a novice back then, still am. And I said, what is going to be Lamborghini's next car next year? Like thinking that they come out on this big program where it's like Ford, where it's a new style every year or every four years. And he looks to me and says, he's like, buddy, you better get used to it because the Aventador is going to be around for a long time. And it's crazy how much we've grown because we're at that point in life yeah. where the Aventador is uh is on its way out here pretty soon. I don't know if there's been any leaks or something like that. I th well, I think it's going to be the CN and it's going to be, uh, I think still V12, but also now it's going to have hybrid electric power. So that should be pretty cool. I think yeah. actually we're due for the, we might be due for the Huracan replacement pretty soon as well. Well, maybe not. Cause and the Huracan replaced the, the Gallardo. Yeah, the yeah. Gallardo ran from 03 all the way to 14. So that's a long, mm -hmm. life. that's an 11 year life. Lamborghini does long life cycles though. They they're do. Really long. Well, that, that's just kind of how those uh, the Italian car companies work, I guess. They just run with them for a long. Because well, I remember yeah. the four five eight came out Italia, and that it was like for a long it was like that was such a huge momentous thing because this thing came out. Another thing I talked about this on Mike's was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Two had a it was a Murcielago on the front, and then this one's the Gallardo, but like the headlight and sort of the stance look a little bit the same, and it's just so nostalgic to think that my buddy finally has one. Sister owns a Urus. Brother owns a Gallardo. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. And I got the old Lily outside. The Lily. Still happy as can be, though. I like the Lily. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, congrats, buddy. She's a beaut. Thank and eventually, I'll have to take this thing so on a spin. I'm just posting right now uh, this post. Uh, so, sorry, I was distracted. It's all right. They have, the, like, the big four ways in the middle. And now they have the uh, the ignition as, like, the centerpiece. And on yeah, this, this, they had, it's like, let's put the, the four way uh, in the middle. This is something you have push button start. Well, you know, it does have push button reverse. It does have push button. I can't believe this. Reverse. Like, so there's no shifting other than the the paddle shifters here. So it, it pretty much is a true manual. Yeah. Other than other than operating the clutch, and then you have the reverse button down here. It's so bizarre. I don't know. It seems like Lamborghini. They do everything right, and then they're like, "Oh God, we still have to go in reverse," and then they just slap it on the they're side. Kind of that way. Just make it work. I mean, obviously these engineers know what they're doing. But well, you have the Urus, where like for some reason the reverse thing is like the most centered, large movable object oh yeah you're that is it's it's only it's it's like you're it's got its own like it's like you're engaging four-wheel drive reverse yeah and it's like why why the giant focus like that whole thing in there if you look at this car that entire structure above the start stop button yep. is centered around the reverse, reverse. like just, this whole thing comes back like an airplane throttle just reverse yep that. <laughs> <laughs> but you still, it's it's insane. Lamborghini loves the reverse, I guess. The reverse yeah, gear. Doing weird stuff. They're gonna put reverse over here this time. Yep. You got the V10. It's glorious. This is Mike and I's favorite view. Almost the same color. Yeah, it's some heat. Oh my god. It's just the guard is such a wide, like little car. It's great. Yep. And Mike said he's gonna be doing some heat with the uh, the tuning and exhaust. This where coming up. Okay. if I stood back here, I think I would get burned with what I think he has uh, in store. Oh, so it's gonna be crazy. Big freaking thing. Big things coming up. Let's uh, let's fix up the Duramax here. Get her looking right. Local here, and holy smokes! It might not show up that well on camera, but in person, this thing is damn near back to new. Holy crap! They did such a good job. Oh my gosh! Fully ready for the wrap on this thing. It's going to be insane. They do such good work for Mike. Uh, they did good work for Nick. You told me to get in ZL1, and they made the Duramax look so great. I appreciate it, man. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan yep. did a great job. CR detailing, if you're in Linglestown, make sure you hit him up because this is damn near flawless. So awesome. Once we get it home, we'll do a more in-depth uh, overlook on it because they did a great job. CR detailing, we'll get back to that in a second, but look over here. We got the black rhinos about to get shipped out because I think I just sold them. All mudded and scarred up. I'm sorry if the AC unit is a little loud, but we're gonna put one of these on the back rack and see how she looks. 
Um, I don't know if the dirt is going to make it look more cool or less cool because the whole truck is like spotless. So we'll see. Trying to get one of these up on a 10 inch lift though is going to be a lot of fun. A little chewed up, but the tread's almost flawless other than just like these little nicks and cuts. This just comes from aggressive off-roading. Off-road tires are actually pretty known to be soft. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll display nice, at least on the back rack. Oh, she is on. I forgot to grab the lug nuts for Mars towing whenever I went to go pick these up, so I'm an idiot, but I'm gonna have to go back there and grab them. Um, the one guy there was actually interested in possibly getting it, uh, getting the black rhinos or buying them, and then also Dalton uh, Bertrand on YouTube. I forget his name, it's like D underscore Bertrand uh, 850 on YouTube, so make sure you check him out because um, he's a great YouTuber. We stream all the time together, hang out, um, play Call of Duty. So. The truck, almost back to normal, just missing the wrap, which is coming in a little over a week. And just to touch base again with CR here, of course the truck is locked. So the wheels, I finally get to see them how they're meant to be seen, just flawless. Um, and this is after a big trip. So they cleaned them up, made them look all nice. And then just to see the paint again, where you can actually see my reflection in it. It's not just like this fake shine you see because water's on it. And I took it to the car wash and did a pressure wash on it. Definitely gonna clean the wheel and tire because it looks awful and repaint the rack do a couple more things but the inside on this damn near perfect i love the inside of these vehicles whenever they do that they had a slight slight stripe going on in here i mean the material is so old that it's hard to do that but they tried um which is awesome they just that extra detail all the dog hair which is i have like super wiry dogs um for dog hair is almost all gone they did such a good job definitely check them out and you have an expensive vehicle it might be worth the trip because the prices are good they didn't get the bed because I told them not to because I want to potentially get this bed lined. So we'll see. Oh, underglow coming on the way, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. The company that did for the CH, we're going to see. I think it'll just be for like uh, whenever I take this to shows and stuff. It'd be fun just to stance it with the headlights, the, the fresh wheels, the wrap. Uh, the underglow, I think will look good. So that'll go in like the wheel well. So I'm sorry if you don't like that, but it's going to happen. <laughs> company sending it out. Um, I don't even know what their names are. LED something. So we'll see how that goes. But the truck is looking good. Gotta get her undercoated. I appreciate all the love and support lately. Uh, wraps coming and hopefully the big mod for the Mustang. I've been promising this for so long and it just, the company hasn't shipped it out. So they're dragging their feet a little bit. They had to go into new management. So anyway, big Duramax back in the fleet. Wrap coming. I'll see you guys soon.